Hey everyone, and today we're going to be talking about some breaking Doctor Who news that came out today. We had the next Doctor Who magazine cover reveal, as well as the next special edition cover, and we've got some news about Big Finish winning a Guinness World Record, a sale going on that they're having to celebrate. So I cannot wait to get into all of this awesome Doctor Who news today on the Doctor Who Guide. the best box set that you can buy for Doctor Who. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Doctor Who Guide, a community where it's all about helping each other grow our knowledge, collection, and connection with other Doctor Who fans. I'm your host Alex Patterson. If you want to help support the channel and keep us making videos, then definitely consider supporting us monthly over on Patreon.com, as well as using the affiliate links in the description down below. It's absolutely free to use those links and it helps support the channel. And if you sign up to Zavi for the first time using the links in the description down below, you'll get a 10% off discount, as well as help support the channel. So thank you so much to everybody who's already done that. In Big Finish news, we have the massive announcement that Big Finish has won a Guinness World Record. The record is for the longest running science fiction audio play series. It is, of course, for the monthly range, which ran for 275 months from 1999 to March of 2021. I reviewed the end of the beginning of the very last story and the main range, so you can check out that review in the card up above. Congratulations to Big Finish for this incredible game. Guinness World Record. What a great way to celebrate Big Finish. I'll link to the Big Finish news article announcing this in the description down below. You get to hear from executive producers Jason Haig Ellery as well as Nicholas Briggs, as well as the Fifth Doctor Peter Davison, the Sixth Doctor Colin Baker, the Seventh Doctor Sylvester McCoy, and the Eighth Doctor Paul McGann. The very first 100 Doctor Who main range audios, which are only available digitally from Big Finish, are now half off. So definitely check out that sale. It ends on the 2nd of May at midnight. You UK time. It's a great price. Definitely worth checking out. In other news, there's a new Big Finish podcast out this week, which you can download and listen to for free. Doctor Who Magazine today on Twitter revealed the cover of the next issue of Doctor Who Magazine. Issue number 564 is going to be available to purchase digitally and physically on April 29th, and it is celebrating 25 years of the 8th Doctor. Paul McGann, can you believe it? 1996 was 25 years ago. I don't want to think about it because I'm only one year younger than the TV movie. So this, though, is an incredible cover. You've got a picture of Paul McGann from Dark Eyes, uh, the incredible big finish range. I am so excited. I love the Eighth Doctor, and I can't wait to have this entire magazine celebrate the Eighth Doctor, as well as a little bit of the Ninth Doctor, because the second half of Chris Eccleston's interview, or the second part of his interview, is going to feature in this magazine. We also have the Ambassadors of Death taken on in the Fact of Fiction, as well as a piece on one of the actors who almost became the Eighth Doctor, but didn't. After that, we have a feature on the Morbius Doctors, finally hoping to get a deep dive explaining the brain of Morbius, which will be fascinating to say the least. We also have an interview with Joe Ahern about directing Doctor Who. Oh, and we even have a section on Pieces of Eight talking about TV movie merchandise, which is going to be one of my favorite sections of this magazine, I can already tell, as well as just the usual goodies that we get with Doctor Who magazine. There was another cover of Revealed today as well, and this time for the special edition Doctor Who magazine, all about writing Doctor Who. If you have ever had any interest in this, then this is a must get. On the front of the special edition, we have a picture of Matt Smith reading a script. Is it Matt Smith or is it the 11th Doctor? Who knows? It says from the pitch to the shooting script writing for Doctor Who. They have an interview with Stephen Moffat, a feature called Magic Words, which is about Doctor Who's greatest writers, which is going to be so much fun to take a look at, as well as Action Plan, which takes a look at the evolution of a Doctor Who script, as well as a section that I think is going to be really, really fascinating. It's called Pages of History, and it's a section about the Doctor Who stories that never made it to screen. We have an interview with Stephen Moffat, the quote of which is, don't do the boring bits. Well, I'm very excited to read both of those uh, Doctor Who magazines. I really enjoyed the last issue of Doctor Who magazine. I, in fact, did a review of it, which you can watch in the card up above and in the description down below. Is there any other news that has recently come out that you're excited about? Any new merchandise or bits of Doctor Who news or Big Finish news? Please do comment that down below. I'd love to know. Until I see you in the next video, keep growing your knowledge collection and connection with other Doctor Who fans. Albert the Adipose says hello, and we both hope to see you in the next video. Bye!